All right, guys, the 2022 Halloween season is officially over, and if you have not seen, I filmed 100 Spirit Halloween stores across the United States this season. Go watch the video where I put it all together as one compilation, and or you can watch every single episode, all 100. So awesome. Go do it now. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell below so you get every notification because we are still hanging on to Halloween all year long with a little bit of Christmas peppered in. But today we are going to be talking about every animatronic that I bought this Halloween season. As you can see behind me, there is a whole stack of them, including two right here that you have no idea what they are. We'll be right back and I'm going to tell you. Alright guys, if you've been watching these videos, you know that we've been traveling most of the time in the RV. So while we've been on the road, I couldn't buy any big animatronics. I had to save them until we got home and I had the Hummer again and I was finishing up the 100 stores tour. Some of these I bought while we were at home for about a week in between the tour. You've already seen unboxings and setup of little Skelly Bones here and Young Crouchy and Twisted Jack and the Lady of the Grave. Those unboxing and setup videos are already posted. You can go back through my videos and watch those if you want. The rest of these we will be doing unboxing and setup videos very soon, so just keep an eye out. But let's get down to it, guys. As you know, and as we already said, I bought Lil Skelly Bones. He was the very first one that I bought this season in Dalton, Georgia. He is so awesome. I fell in love with this little guy the first time I saw him. I knew I had to buy him, so I bought him very first thing. Somewhere along the line, I bought the Young Crouchy because I could not stand to be without him. Young Crouchy is so awesome. I wish I had the Big Crouchy. I don't, but I'm going to have to find him on eBay or something because I really do want to own both of them. After our first trip out filming Spirits this season, we came home for a couple weeks, and I found three of these at a local store. That store is called Mark's. It's a discount store, and the first one I found was Twisted Jack. This guy is totally awesome. You're gonna have to go over and watch the setup video for him. He is so much more awesome than I ever expected he was gonna be. I was really, really pleased by this guy. The next one I got was the Lady of the Grave. She is super spooky. She reminds me of the Wraith from Spirit Halloween, and she was also just as awesome as I expected, if not more. Smiling Jack is the third and final animatronic I bought on that trip to that store. I have not set him up yet, so you guys have that to look forward to, the unboxing and setup of Smiling Jack. Now, I have been told that he is somewhat like Rusty, where Rusty had a chainsaw and when you reach your hand in the bucket for the candy, he jumps up and he starts shaking the chainsaw. That's what I've been told happens with Smiling Jack. We are just going to have to find out as soon as we do that unboxing. When I was on the road, I saw two animatronics that I really wanted to buy, but I could not buy them because I could not fit them in the RV. So I got online one night and I went ahead and ordered them. It's those two right there. And if you stick around till the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and open those and you're going to find out what they are. But the last animatronic I bought on the road was the Nightcrawler. I kept seeing him in stores and I kept thinking, oh my gosh, I want the Nightcrawler so bad. And if I pass him up, I know I'm not going to get him. So after I had seen him in several stores, I finally said, you know what? I'm buying him. So I bought the Nightcrawler. I stowed it away in the RV and brought him home. There will also be an unboxing and setup of the Nightcrawler sometime in the near future, but I've been told that he is very difficult, so this will be a very interesting video. We have three left, guys, before we get to the two mystery packages over here, and one of them is the Exterminator. For the first time this season, I went into a Halloween City store, and they had this guy set up, and I immediately fell in love. Look how cool this is. Now, I have gone online and watched other people's videos, including the Haunt Former, when he set his up and tried it out. And this guy 
is so totally awesome, I just could not pass him up. So I grabbed him up. In fact, I bought two. I bought one for myself and one for my son, who, if you don't know by now, goes on YouTube by the name that other Nate guy on YouTube. Go over there, subscribe to his channel, because him and I are going to be doing a double unboxing and setup of the exterminator guys the next one i bought was this enormous guy right here i got him right down at the end of the season i was so surprised to see him in stores the possessed pumpkin he is so absolutely enormous he is on the frame of the original crouchy he does basically the same thing, just his voice and the phrases that he says are totally different. But he is so awesome, I knew I had to have him right from the beginning, and I found him right at the end. And the last one we're going to look at here, guys, before we open these two down here, is the one on the bottom over here. Holy crap, it is Grim. From the get-go, I knew that I wanted to get Grim, guys. He is such an awesome animatronic. And every time I went into stores this year and I saw where they had decorated him and dressed him up with different hats and costumes, I just wanted him even more. I wanted to have my own Grim, my own animatronic skeleton that I can put in my office and put Halloween costumes on and anything that I want to because I'm planning on making tons of awesome Halloween videos this entire year and some of them are going to be all about what we're putting on Grimm. <laughs> you guys have given me so many awesome ideas of what you want to see Grimm dressed up in, like the ghost face costume and things like that. If you have suggestions, please feel free to leave them below in the comments and you might just see them in the future. So guys, that is everything that I bought this season, and it is time to get down to these two on the end and open them up. I am so absolutely excited. I have left them sealed until the time to make this video because I want to see them for the first time as you see them for the first time. It's actually not the first time you're ever going to see them because we have seen them before, but they are so awesome that we're going to pretend it's the first time. Guys, I am so excited right now. I cannot wait to open these. Here we go right now. As I said, I have not even cut these open, so we are going to do it right now. This is exactly how they came to me in the mail while I was out in the RV. My son was here, and he got them and just put them in the living room for me, and here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I am beyond excited. I bet you can even guess what it is, just seeing the shape of the box. There's the top of the box. I have not even cut these open, so we are... Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. It is Bubba, man's best friend. Bubba is one that I see every year, guys, and I just knew that I had to buy him as soon as I got a house. Look at the look on that guy's face. Holy crap, I cannot believe I actually finally own a man's possessed friend. Did I just call him man's best friend a minute ago? I did. It's man's possessed friend. All right, let's get down to the second one here, guys. I may even be more excited about this one. Here we go. Let me just give you a quick backstory on this one. I was not going to buy this one. I never had any plans to. And then I saw him in one store this year, guys. And my mind was made up. That night, I went home and I bought him. I know you guys are trying your best right now to guess what it is. Oh, ho, ho. oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Here we go, guys. Like Christmas morning. <laughs> All right, here we go. Check that out. Oh my gosh, guys, look at it. It is the Wacky Mole. Like I said, I never had any plans of buying the Wacky Mole. I saw him all year last year in stores, and I was like, yeah, he's totally awesome, but I don't know if I really want him. He's a clown. I'm not really into clowns, but let me tell you, one of the stores I went into this year, guys, and if you've been watching, you know which one it is because I can't remember. They had a wacky mole set up. He wasn't even working correctly. But seeing him in person, I knew I had to have him. And just like with Bubba, I went online that night 
and ordered him. Look at that. I am so excited to be a proud owner of the Wacky Mole. Oh my gosh, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. I am just absolutely beside myself with this awesome beginning to a collection of animatronics. I am so excited to be the proud owner of each and every one of these. Man's Possessed Friend, The Wacky Mole, Lil Skelly Bones, The Nightcrawler, Grim, Lady of the Grave, Twisted Jack, Young Crouchy, Smiling Jack, Possessed Pumpkin, and The Exterminator. They are all mine. And this is just the beginning, guys. Make sure that you subscribe and stick around because there are going to be plenty more awesome animatronics joining the family.